This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome back here to Washington Avenue and Memphis Mill Academy. Dundalk, a record of three and one, trying to come back from the defeat they had last week. Valentine, number 13, Please and Smith, one. number 11, back Mill. deep for the Owls. Big time Baltimore County matchup, we got three of those this week. Catonville and Perry Halls playing as we speak. Orange Mills and Towson, the battle of the undefeatings tomorrow over and Middle Towson and Coach Clark. We should have an interesting one here tonight between the defending 2A champions and Dundalk that has gotten to the state finals two years ago. Flag down early and they got to the semis a year ago. Like a block in the back against the Isles. Smithville Bell won the Kobe tournament. Jones on the tackle. Who's on the field for the game? We talked to both sides. Uh, Penalties against the Owls, the holding penalty. Evenly matched game. He walked off from the spot of the foul. What do you think about his Brought down at the 27 yard line and he's walking it on down right now. And the ball is now marked. Sometimes that's why you do a decent run back. At the 17 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Dundalk. So the quarterback is sophomore Williams. My second chance getting to see him this year and him against the comeback against Newtown a couple weeks ago here on the other side of uh, Northwestern Baltimore County. Nice win. The sun is actually out of trip. Mostly cloudy, but the rain should stay away. Out the shotgun now and flags everywhere. And that should be probably against the offense in all likelihood. Illegal procedure against the offense. It is. No, it's against the defense. Offside. The Owls had 12 men on the field. That's a, that's an error. That's, that's a, uh, He's waving the flag off. It'll be first and 10. The ball is marked at the 17 yard line. But the Owls is going the opposite way. Come on, defense! First and 10 here for Dunlop at their own 17. Close it. Oh, yeah. Tip away. Williams' pass is incomplete. <laughs> Quick pressure there, and he was able to get to him. Second and ten coming up. I think he released that ball. Let's go! Let's go! How about Memphis Mill's schedule here? And uh, after this one, they get to see Jill, Curry Hall. Coming down the stretch. Second and ten. Balls on the 17. Franklin last week and their win. Be the best, you gotta be. No doubt about it, and they are the defending 2A champions. Got to see the great playoff matchup here against Stephen DeCare almost 10 minutes ago. That's a run up the middle, and that's a good one. Dine, the ball carrier. Kobe Jones in on the tackle. May have gotten a couple of yards out of the last play. Three. He got three out of it. Yep. Third and seven, the line coming up here for Dundalk. We'll be doing the, uh, well, I'll be doing the uh, Dundalk two side. We're down in Dundalk tomorrow. We'll see Mount Pelham on St. Paul's and the MIT. Third and eight. The ball's on the 18 yard line. All right, the 18. Here we go, here we go. In motion. There's Cassidy. Throws it short. Hard there. Looking for some yak yards. Williams' pass is complete. Worcester in on the tackle. Yeah. It's gonna be fourth. I think Dunbar might be going for this here. I think that's a mistake. Four from two. Watch the ball. Coach Abel's rolling the dice here early. Yes, he is. And unless they try to draw him outside. Fourth and one. 
The ball is marked at the Owls' 26-yard line. He said it was a slow-moving play there. They might have got there first, maybe about a half a second sooner. 10-26 and counting in left in the first quarter. Fourth and one. Here for the Owls. Are they trying to get, like you said, trying to get them all sides? Maybe trying to get them all sides. That's what I think we're saying. The Owls have called a timeout with 10.09 left in the first quarter. Wow. Done that with two timeouts remaining. I don't think I would have called a timeout on that one. Well, if you're trying to get them all sides and the play clock run down, you've got to do something. So. We've seen a lot more in football over the last decade, you said. Yeah. And not just high school, but college and, of course, and the pros in the NFL as well. I think I would have played the field position on this, but I guess it may not have way fun Oh, how about ball one time? Watch the face! Watch the face! Watch the face! Watch the face! Red, number four. Ferguson, number five. They're back deep to return this punt for a touchdown. Mills and Towson. Both undefeated, like I said, they'll be playing each other. Tizano in. won one game. They've won four. To punt for the Owls. Watch the face! And here, the fake could be coming here. I don't think so. Nope. Not the greatest punt. It was a dangerous catch. But it's right there midfield. Yeah. Out of bounds to Ferguson. And it's inside of Dundalk Church. Ferguson on the return. Should be around the 40 yard line. I say right at the 42. Out of bounds near the 40 yard line. All right, the 40. So the senior now, Tyson Curtis. First and ten for the Millers. Get to see him for the first time this season. The ball's on the Dundalk. Forty-yard line. Six-four now. And he's out the shotgun here. See what happens in this one. We'll let the run here. Out of the pistol. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier. Sutton with the run. Got two yards. Picked up a yard on the last play. The Millers quarterback is senior state champion number 18, Deshaun Purdy. No heat of man here. No doubt. Second and nine. The ball's on the 39 yard line with 9.32 left to play in the first quarter. Second down and eight. <laughs> Snap. Cody. And he Cody was tapping in the backfield. Oh, and he sacked. Didn't have a shot at that. No shot. Putting it in on the tackle. That was a good pass rush. That was a good pull rush. No speed. It came right up the middle and came after the quarterback. Lost 10 yards. 10 yard loss there. That's how you do the ball. On the last play. Third and 20, the ball's on the 49-yard line. For Mel having to pass the football now. Low snap there. They're coming again with the Pass night. is complete no to way. Oliver Red, Jr. Not able to escape a second. Gets a couple of yards. Pops the Dundalk. Up Brings up a fourth down. Their front seven dominated them last two plays. Yes, they did. James, number 99, in the punt. And challenger Valentine, number 13, is back near the 10-yard line. Yeah, some noise might be coming here. High snap. Nice punt. Nice punt. Right at the 15, broke one tackle, off the sideline, dragged by the bounds, by the jersey inside of the 30. Where's he going to that first tackle? Yeah, watch. Santana McKelvin on the tackle, just inside the 35-yard line. I had the 33. That's where Dundalk was set up for their second offensive possession of the contest. Both teams just ran out in their first possession. 
First and 10 for the Owls. The ball's on the Dundalk 33-yard line. Let's see whether our quarterback can go. Go, D! Go, D! First and 10. And for Williams. In motion. Break around to the outside. Caught in the backfield. Kirby Jones in on the tackle. Lost about three yards on the last play. The second and 13. The ball is marked right at the 30 yard line. 7 41 left in the first quarter. Looking here. Apple shotgun. Throws it high, caught. Let's go. And a gain of about maybe. Williams' pass is complete. One pass to Joey Karasabrat. That's had an amazing catch against Newtown and that comeback win against the Titans a couple weeks ago. third and four. Yep. Third manageable, you know? Yeah, it's manageable. Good pass, too. It was. Patience by the sophomore, Williams. <laughs> Could have rushed in that throw, but he's patient. And, you know, Third and four. Four D. Yeah, he did. Oh, so far, I gotta give the credit. Dundalk is dominating the line of scrimmage. With both ends of the ball, seems like. Snap here. Williams yeah. escapes, throws it. Wide open at midfield of first. Williams pass is complete. Anthony Smith Jr. With the catch now, at the end. Lost their the reception was enough for Owls first down. The first down of the contest. It is first and ten. The ball is marked at the 50-yard line with 624 left to play in the first quarter. First time he's here is Mexican. The spring of 2021. First time during this time of year since 2019 for Dundalk and Mill. Let's go, Williams and Thrash back in the in motion. Nice run up the middle. And made something out of nothing right there. Made a lot out of nothing. Oh, that was a little pound up the middle there, 550 left here. Seals and King in on the tackle. King Jr. in on the tackle. Picked up about four yards on the last play. It'll be second and six. The ball is marked at the 46-yard line with 532 left to play in the first quarter. First down. That might be Eva. Malachi Barnes on the tackle. Jenkins, the ball carrier. Like you just said, the line of scrimmage right now. Dundalk's left Brought down just short of the first down. Both sides of the ball. Third and one. Ball's on the Miller's 41 yard line. Come on, D Let's we'll see what Coach White. And his defense downs up here. Well, actually, right now, you can, I, I would go for the pass. I mean, it's a full down territory. No doubt. You're in no man's land, Connor. Snap high. They went for the pass. Spins out of it. Place a tackle. First down for the Owls. I mean, the setup was perfect there. Yeah, it was perfect. And they got and Anthony had, Smith open again. And he had blockers in front. Pass is complete to Smith. Four out of bounds near the 30. The ball's marked at the 28-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from the Miller's 28. Picked up 13 yards on the reception. Outside of playing Woodlawn, has not scored much here this season so far. So getting out ahead is huge here. Let's go defense! And a game like this, scoring first means a lot. Coming back. Run up the middle. Another nice run up the middle. Because they're moving the defensive line. We're moving them and shaking them in the middle there. Second down, this clock continues to run here in the first quarter. And possibly at 418 remaining. Ball 
Barnes and Ross on the tackle. Picked up six yards on the last play. It's second and four. And it's dangerous because you can do anything out of this formation. You can. High snap. Oh, they went. Oh, that was a straight wildcat. Quarterback keeper. The quarterback keeper. Look like a wildcat. King Jr. in on the tackle. That might be about. What do you say, Coach Clark? A yard shot? Like a yard shot. From our angle point, anyway. It's third yard. Yeah, third in the yard. Third and one. Again, you're right on schedule. Right on schedule. And that's how you win first game. You got to stay on schedule. You can't afford to get behind the... Uh, third and one. Ball's on the 19-yard line. In the red zone now. We're going to Against the Owls. That's a five-yard penalty. The ball's now marked at the 24-yard line. This one got third and six. It's still managed. Yeah, but third and one is always better. And Williams went down under center. Was that maybe what threw the off? Yeah, I saw that. Third and six. Ball's on the 24-yard line. 242 left in the first quarter. On the quarterback keeper, Cam Jefferson in on the tackle. He's going to be about to Brought down just short of the first down. I thought if he ran straight, he would have had it. Yeah, he could have kept straight. I don't know what made him come to the side. So it's fourth down and it looked like about three. And that was close for Mr. Wow. Mill getting rough in it. Now, Dundon do have a kicker here. Let's say see he's employed. Fourth and three. Fourth and two. <coughs> the ball's marked at the 22-yard line. Need to get the ball. Get the ball to the 20. Well, let's see what Memphis Mill has made of. Definitely here. 145 remaining. is incomplete and the Millers will take over on downs. Give it up for the defense. Any Mill fans here? Y'all can get louder than that. I want to say that uh, he kind of helped up the Mill defense. Good job, D! Penalty. Yeah, that penalty, that penalty cost uh, And even though Gundar the pass was high, you got to help the quarterback out. Yeah. He's wide open now. Yeah, he's wide open. So the Millers retain the First ball. First and out. 10 for the Millers. Down. The ball is marked at the 20 yard line. Right at the 20. Run right now. Keon oh, Sutton. It's caught in the backfield. And they got him back in the backfield. Dundalk is controlling the defense. Our fans get your block. They are right now controlling the trenches. I see speed game. from that Dundalk uh, front seven right now. Yeah. Second down coming up here with about a minute and 10 left in the quarter. We got about a second and 13. Oh, have a nice night for the Dean High School football game of the weekend. Oh, last week we was at uh, John High. One minute. One minute left in the first quarter. Very fast. Oh, yeah. Extremely fast. I'm 620 yet. Okay. Fakes! Purdy! Purdy's pass. the interception right at the Dundalk 35 yard line it'll be first and 10 with 41.2 seconds left in the first quarter I 
thought the receiver had caught it. Then I, I thought, thought he had caught it too. Then I thought he dropped it. Oh, he had caught it. But uh, there's a catch in there, like you said, you got to become a defensive back. That situation, man. yeah, you got to, he should have turned into a defensive back right then and there. It happens. It was an under play. Tackled by Fields. Second and 20. Second and 17 is good. Hello? That ends the first quarter. The quarter will come to a close. After one here, Memphis Mel is scoreless between the Owls and the Millers. And we'll be back with more action from the DMV High School Football Game of the Week. How did this work? Whatever you think. If you're the Millers, you know, your defense is just out there, and then two plays later, you gotta come back out. Even though they was able to get the stop on fourth down. Well, the one good thing about it, they got some rest at the end of the quarter. Yep. Pain three yards on the last play. Third and 14. Ball's on the 31. Jefferson and Jones in on the tackle. There's a penalty flag near the line of scrimmage. Either got a hole or rough for the pass. And if I was a gambling man, I would say it's rough for the pass. Which would be Dean's day for Melvin Mill. Let's continue to drive. Well, we're still not getting an official word yet. I think Coach Clark, you uh, might be right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fourth down, it's like. Fourth down, so must have picked up the pass. Ineligible receiver. Oh, ineligible receiver down It's against Delphine Mill. Oh, it's against Delphine Mill. Downfield. Field. Down down. I'm sorry, it's against Dundas. <laughs> well, that, as they say, it brings that. Fourth down here, your owls will have to punt away. Well, the turnover didn't cost him nothing but field position, so. Ferguson, number five, is back deep near the 30-yard line. <laughs> Snap in the middle. That was close there. And you got to get out the way of this one. Get out the way. And he picked it up there near the 20. Ferguson on the return, brought down right there. inside the 30-yard line. That was a gutsy piece. It was. I'm saying like that. That thing goes. That thing was hot. Davis he took on the tackle for the Owls. He took a, a look at it and kept on ticking. Yes, he did. Balls marked at the 30-yard line. Well, you, you said before again you wanted a defensive battle. What like you got there? Yeah, that's when I, I got my wish. Go! 
two most successful Baltimore County football schools in the last four years. Nice snap there. Rolls his Heard his pass is complete to a Denny and Blackwell. And he's blocked down right near the 50 yard line. The tight end there. Is that Milton Mills first It is. Picked up 20 yards on the reception by Blackwell. It'll be first and 10 right at midfield. And that's 50 here for the Millers. 30. He went with the run. Ferguson, the ball carrier. Uh, picked up eight yards Second on the last play. Second and two. Then. Second and two. The ball's on the 42. Do we have a timeout by who? Maybe by Dundalk. Dundalk has called a timeout. Miles with with no clock. They have one remaining in the half. Well, you know the old scope, what the old coach uh, yeah. say. If you need them, use them. Yep. If something don't look right, use it. Huh? So it's called, like I said, tomorrow. I'll be at Mount Campbell for the showcase game. Well, I'll be at CCBC Dundalk to see Mount Campbell. The St. Paul's homecoming. 9-28. Next, uh... Left in the first half. Friday, the game of weekend on DSM. We'll be down in the new Under Armour facility to see Mobile and Fox Park. I can't wait to see Fox Let's give it up for the offense. Yeah! I mean, I'm, I'm anxious. And between that, we got some hoops coming your way from the St. Francis Fall League as well. And Second and two. The ball's on the 42. Volleyball as well coming up. It's all coming in full swing here. That's a run. Oh, they, oh, they managed. Wilster, the ball carrier. Lost about three yards on the last play. They kind of told us what was going to happen there. So you're pretty here. You're getting it from the sidelines. What? What are you looking at here? Third and five. The ball's on the 45. They went with a run. Man, still on his feet. Rush to the ball carrier. What a got about two yards. Yeah. I think I'm going to go fourth down. Uh, what's the thing here, coach? I don't know. Well, you ran that play last time. Let's just get a couple more yards. They're going to make more for it. No gain on the last play. It's fourth and five. Ball, right? ball is marked at the 45 yard line with 820 left. Pin them deep. In the first half. I think the strategy was though to get as many yards as you can and then go for it. James number 99's in to punt for the Millers. And Challenger Valentine, number 13's back deep for the Owls, standing near the 10 yard line. And he seemed to be a dangerous pop challenge too. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, that snap wasn't good though. But the punt off, that that went out. Way. Yeah, it was a shanky. Somewhere around the 25, I think it is. Uh, it might be a little further than that, because it's called right at 30. Yep. Look it came at dude a little bit there. Balls out of bounds near the 30 yard line. Well, I said I wanted to see a defensive. It'll be first and ten for Dundalk at the Owls 30. But you know defense was my specialty, so that's why I like seeing defensive games. Oh, I said we got one for the ages last week. Yes, we did. I, that was an awesome, awesome. And you know, even though St. Francis lost, I wouldn't hold my head down. No, not at all. First and ten here for the Owls. I kind of want to see what Williams going to do. Go defense! Go defense! 7.50 left. This quarter's are moving pretty fast. Oh, they, they need to get a man back on the field.
The Owls have called a timeout. That's, I guess, their last timeout. It is. They're done with timeout for the half. And that's crucial. Crucial. Now that's a crucial timeout. It is. I love that is crucial. unnecessary because, you, again, somebody not paying attention. We, we, we had a uh, Notre Dame situation. Yeah. Like Ten men on the field like that. The Irish did in their two last days against Ohio State last week. Buckeyes able to pull that one out against the Pioneer. Neither one of those teams are pretty good this year. I don't no think doubt. they're that good. Oh, you don't think they're that good? Yeah. Big Ten still looking at All-State Michigan. Maybe Ten State as well. Let's see how that goes. Notre Dame with a big one. Yes, go, the Blue Devils was in football. Yeah, how about that? How about that? Beat Clemson to start the year. First and ten for the Owls. The ball is marked at the 30 yard line. Matthew King Jr. in on the tackle. Since the first quarter. But you know what really can work for them is the screenplay. Picked up a yard on the last play. It'll be second and nine. The running game. The ball's marked at the 31-yard line with 7.24 left to play. In the first half. Penalty flag. Oh, outside oh, wow. At the line of scrimmage. Encroachment against the Millers. It's a five yard penalty. A little gift there by the Millers. Ball's marked at the 36 yard line. So it should be about a third and four. A second and four. Second and four. Third. Second. Yeah, second and four. Well, like you said, somebody's speed. Second and four. Jones and James in on the tackle. I'm a little bit of Joseph coming out right now. Third and three. The ball's on the 32 yard line. Pass is incomplete from the 37 yard line. And once again, my familiar defensive line on the case of Williams. Yeah, we got a defensive fight here. Oh, we do? <laughs> Looks like the first team to score might win. You ain't getting it. And you know it might take the defense to score. Hey, we've seen that a bit last week, didn't we? Fourth and three. The ball's on the Dundalk 37-yard line. Hey, expect the unexpected. And now the Millers had to bring their lover man out. <laughs> These are minimal mistakes that could not be made. Fake! Yeah. On the sneak attempt. Nice on the tackle. Millers will take over. Right at the 38 yard line. Cam Rice on the tackle. No, I was saying this out of the 50s. They probably thought they put him snapping over there. Oh no, they brought that guy in late. First and ten for the Millers. Let's go! Come back and back down, let's see what they do. Well, you got a short field. That's what Mill do. They're going for the Purdy's pass. Too far. Is incomplete. Intended for Pearson. That's the way I do it. It's second down. Second and ten. 556 left here in the half. 
This time he put too much on it. Too much muscle on your hot dog, I get it. Too much muscle, yeah. <laughs> get it all over your face. <laughs> That's right. Okay. No doubt. 556 remaining here in the first half. Second and 10. Balls on the 37 yard line. 556 left. First half. I will pass. The way that defense is set up, I will pass right now. Thank you, guys. Heard his pass is complete pass. to Gamble. Gamble able to get it. And he's wrestled down inside the 35-yard line. Well, for them, it's a four-down territory. No doubt. Unless they got a field goal kick on their good. My bad. Third and six. No dribble coming passes now, not too much. They wasn't supposed to call it for no man. Slim chance, I guess that slim chance to hit us here in Upper Baltimore County. No, Western Baltimore County. Purdy with time. Close it. Purdy's pass Wait. is complete but out of bounds. Wait. Good job to make sure the defender didn't get no foot from bounds. And so the, uh, excuse me, the, uh, yeah, you only got to get one foot in balance. Yeah, and, and I still thought, wasn't able to there. Fourth down, you said it? It's going to be going for it here for the Millers. So, Coach White. Let's give it up for the offense. It's fourth and six. Let's give it up for the offense. Let's go! Let's go, right. He's definitely had plenty of time. Let's see what we got here. Now, they went with a straight run. And didn't get it. Didn't get it. Not get it. Turn on one down for the Miller. Ferguson, the ball carrier. Everybody's brought down short of the first down. The Owls will take over. Ball's marked at the 30 yard line. We really got a good defensive game here. We got a war. My kind of game. It is indeed up your alley. <laughs> First and ten for the Owls. The ball's on the Dundalk 30 yard line. 505 left in the first half. Almost picked off near the 40 yard line. It's second down. Give it away. Plus, Milford Mill had two guys fighting for it anyway. Man. Well, you know what they say, that never helped. Second and 10 here with 459 left here now. Yeah, he was trying to get that ball away. Yard on the last play. Well, his old man got in the way. He did. Well, really, he didn't get in the way. He just ran it. Third and nine. Balls on the 31 yard line with 4 24 left in the first half. Let's go! 
push is in for the extra point. And James Gamble is the holder. Pearson's kick is good. And the Millers lead 7 to 0 with 3. 59 left to play in the first half. Still haven't changed the score yet. It's 7 0 Miller. Change the score. Set to kick off for the Millers. Number 35, Mohammed Kim. <laughs> Who's going to make the tackle? Kick right there at the chin. Oh, this kid is lighting it. Spins out of it. Stays on his feet. And down at a 40. It was. Shorek Betty on the tackle for the Millers. Nice return by Buddy Isles after the. Uh, and they, and they got good field position. Roll it out. We we'll check a couple scores in the afternoon coming up. What down? At the Dundalk 40 yard line, it's first and 10. Well, let's see now we'll see how good this quarterback is. Can he overcome adversity? Yeah. I said we've seen him do it once this year already. Tripped up after a short game. Picked up two yards on the last play. The Millers have called a timeout. With 3.30 left to play in the first half, the ball is marked at the 42. 42 yard line. Now if you want to news about next week's game of the week game between Marble and Forest Park, Forest Park no problems with Russian Lewis, 26 nothing. Marble, 42 nothing. We'll have, we'll see both of them undefeated next week. I am looking forward to this. Hey, put the right score up there. It's seven points. This could be a trap game for Marble. Oh, definitely, the Dumbbells are six days away. Right, this could be a trap game. We have open the matchups coming at you. <laughs> oh. Second and eight. Second and Ball's eight. on the 42. Oh, oh, what a run! First down and more! Down the sidelines! Pushed out of bounds. Breaking a tackle now. Roslo, the senior, and a nice run indeed. Inside of him for Milton. Nobody was on the edge. You gotta set that edge. Don't believe me, asked the Ravens last week. About not setting the edge, it came out to bite them in the rear. It's seven nothing. We're gonna put the score on the scoreboard. Just hold on. Hold on. Keep it in your head. Put it on your phone. Seven zero. Maybe a game or maybe two, perhaps. This is a good time for a pass right down the middle. Malachi Barnes on the tackle. Three minutes to 
seven zero. We have the zone of this seven up in the middle. Second and nine. Ball from the twenty nine. seconds left in the first half. Number 11, Valentine, number 13, back deep for the Owls. Let's see who's going to make the tackle. If you can run it back, now it'll be the time. Well, they do have a returner that can make some noise. We've seen that in this game so far. He went with the squibby. Kofield's knee was down. So, like you said, the Owls have 225 left in the half. And you want a 30 yard line. I mean, you only got 70 yards, but um, it's all right back for a touchdown. Right, you gotta put that ball in the air. And 10. The ball is marked right at the 30 yard line with two minutes and 25 seconds left to play in the first half. Williams' pass is incomplete. It's second down. Second and 10 coming up. Yeah, for now. Now, 13 and up. We're going to have a scoring update. Second and 10. Ball's over 30. Ox and Dine, the ball carrier. Met after a short game. Barnes in on the tackle. It's third down. Third and seven. Need offense now a little bit more sense of urgency. Yeah, four o'clock matters. in on 
the coverage for the Meadows. It's fourth down. The Owls are bringing in the punt team. Oliver Red Jr., number four, he's back deep to return this punt for a touchdown. He's standing near the 35-yard line. Man, they need a turnover. Oh, uh, let it go. Oh, he touched it! And the Fumbles and recovered. Right at the 41-yard line. A minute and 23 seconds left to play. That's just enough time to score again. It's almost out. They almost had that turnover I was talking about. Now, if I was Bill for Bill, I'd just run the ball. I agree. And Mellows do have uh, two timeouts. They got two timeouts. I was in front of the ball. I wouldn't worry about using my time unless they get First and ten. Close. Ball's on the 47. But if they don't get close, I would just run it out. Let's see what happens. We will see here. Snap there. Cardi throws it. Pass is complete. To a Daniel Blackwell. He's brought down right near midfield. He's a big body to tackle. Second and three. Ball's on the 49-yard line. 64 seconds left to play in the first half. Many left in the half. Let's go, O-line! Let's go, O-line! Yes! Nice thing, yeah, they're going back to Purdy. Purdy's pass. Oh, thread the needle. It's complete. Oliver Red Jr. on the reception. The reception by Red was enough for Milford first down. 46.5 remaining. The Millers have called a timeout with 46.5 seconds left to play in the first half. No, sir. We're going to put the medal to the pedal. Put the pedal to the medal. I'm going to say the medal to the pedal. Unless we're making a diamond, I don't know. Dang, his defense is going to be different. If you see what I said, that's going to be the defense. Let's go, I don't know if my team is going to score twice on defense, though. We've seen the same thing from the last team last year. Two different kinds of animals, but similar results. Let's see, Purdy, first and ten, right near the 40. Purdy's pass is oh! almost complete to Josh Pearson. It's second down. I think if you'd have took that off, he was gone. Man. That ain't bad. 42.4 seconds remaining, second and ten. Birdie's pass is complete. James Gamble on the reception. The catch by Gamble was enough for a Milford first down. It'll be first and ten. The ball is marked at the 29-yard line with 36.3 seconds left to play in the first half. Snap. Whoa. Pass is complete. Pass intended for Blackwell. It is in that space a little bit more. We're going to see it. Second and ten. Second and ten. Balls on the 29-yard line. 32.6 seconds left. 
in the first half. Purdy's pass is incomplete. There's a penalty flag in the eye of secondary. Pass intended for Red Jr. Pass interference against the Dundalk. The Miller's closer to the end zone. And now you should be in the red zone. Be in the red zone. It should be at the 14 yard line. Ball's being spotted at the 14 yard line. It's first and 10. Purdy on the quarterback keeper. Flag, There's a penalty it. flag at the line of scrimmage, hold holding ball. against the Millers. They said they should run. They should have just run the ball. They, they, no, they didn't. They didn't run the ball. I was like, he was trying to pass the ball. From the looks of it, he looked like he was trying to pass the ball. He should have been. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Pelly will stop the clock. Shit. Youngsters is out tonight. Miller's might have called that last time out. Both sides are talking. They can have one more time out. Right? <laughs> The Miller's athletic department wants the parents of the players to meet her at the green tent for an armband. By the end of halftime, the athletic department wants the parents to meet her at the green tent for an armband. All fans must leave the stadium at the conclusion of the game. First and 20. The ball is marked at the 25-yard line with 21.3 seconds left to play in the first half. Uber made that 20 here from Memphis Mel. I think you're going to get that. Purdy's pass is complete. For a missile touchdown. Newburn on the top on the reception. Good job! And I think the middle is fine. A 25 yard reception by Newburn. It's 19 to 0 with 16.1 seconds left, and the Millers are going for two. Millers going for two, Purdy out the shotgun. Look at throws it. Purdy's pass is complete to Oliver Red Jr. for a two point conversion, and the Millers lead. 21 to 0. And it's on the scoreboard. 21 to 0. Pick it up there. Got it over there in the corner. 
Uh, remember, Dundalk was down in that matchup. 26 of the stop. James on the tackle, just inside the 40-yard line. Eight, eight and It'll be 10 seconds, I think. That's what I was saying. Dundalk was down 26 to 7. In the third quarter against Newtown, come back one way from the Nah, over here. So there should be some more time on the clock and all that here. It is 23 points. 12 seconds left to play in the first half. 12.1. Those double figures. A hell uh Gotta go deep. I think that We'll get a quick pass, get out of bounds, and then we go right away. That should be a, that's close to being a flag. Though. They came out the middle. It's over. That's out. And it should be over in there. Let me nail down. Yep. Half time, Miffin Mill will get the ball back first in the second half. The Miller's up 21 thanks to the two turnovers for touchdowns and the offensive one right for the half here. Second half back here from Miffin Mill coming at you. And more of the DMV High School football game of the week continues. All right, Coach Claw, second half about to get going. Just first half uh, thoughts and what you expect to see here in the second half. Well, like I said at first, it's the defense, the turnovers that turned this game around, but what's that to happen here? Dundalk has got to Oliver Red, number four, junior. And Damon Ferguson are back deep to return this kickoff for a touchdown, or at least halfway. Another squib kick. That hop. Oh! Able to get it out. Good job, hold your feet! We'll take it. I seen the seller. I made him not get up back there. I have no idea. Everybody overran the play. I have no idea. I have no idea. Good field position there for the number of Say he stepped out of bounds at the 44 yard line. It's first and 10. 56 yards away from another score. Leon Sutton lost about six yards, five yards on the last play. It'll be second and 15. The ball is marked at the 40-yard line. And on the defensive side there, to the out. They're going back to the right. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier, and he's forced out of bounds inside midfield to the 
three yard line. The run by Keon was enough for Milford first down. They call him Sweet Feet Sutton. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier. And he's rumbling down inside the 35 yard line. The run by Keon was enough for Milford first down. Going with the no huddle. Up the middle. Gains a couple. And I'm going to realize that you want to know huddle with the run. Voice to the ball carrier. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Royster picked up two yards on the last play. It'll be second and eight. The ball is marked at the Dunbar 31-yard line with 10.35 left to play in the third quarter. The Owls got to play desperate now. on the reception by Pearson. James Gamble's the holder, and Pearson's kick is no good. The score remains 27 to zero. Set to kick off from Milford. Number 35, Mohammed. Mohammed. Freedom. Right now we got Milford Mill all over Dundo. We do, and I'm a big county game here tonight. That was a skipper, right near the 15. Got room. Got him to hit there, but he was able to hold on to it. And the ball right near the 35. Who's got your position? Kobe Jones on the tackle, right near the 35 yard line. Now we're going to see what Williams is made out of. <laughs> Biggest deficit of the season here. Need all over North County, 48 to 8. Everyone signed a ball game tonight. First and 10. The ball is marked at the Dundalk 26 yard line. 36, excuse me, 36 yard line. at the 27 yard line with 9.42 left to play in the third quarter. Second and 19. The ball's on the 27 yard line. Oh, yeah! 
change at halftime. Ferguson on the tackle. Lost the yard on the last play. It's third down. Third and 20. The ball's on the 26 yard line. the middle. Oh no, was it? Oh, pulled the head down. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. by Ferguson. He's down to the 30 yard line. Down to the 25. And out of bounds around the 23 yard line. Turn over. Turn over. He said, now we're going to see that. I thought he was going to run. At first, that's why the camera went that way. And then, he's going to hit the ball. on the return by Ferguson to set the Millers up at the 21 yard line. Inside the 20 yard line, balls marked at the 17. It's third down. Come on, Blackwell, backside, backside, Blackwell. Come on. You think a big tight end here should be looked for? Low snap. Penny is caught. In the backfield. And complete. Yeah, that's taking the ground. That's taking the ground in there, probably. Early flag on the last play. That's a loss of down, too. Yeah, that's on ground. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Intentional grounding. One time, it's not take the sack yeah, He wasn't outside the tackle box. It also is a loss of down, and the ball is now marked. Back. At the 26 yard line. Now he's moving it. To the 31 yard line. Okay. <laughs> Seven twenty-nine left in the third. Metro Mill ever since the turnover is four from twenty. Ball's on the thirty-one. With seven minutes and twenty-nine seconds left to play in the third quarter. Purdy's pass is incomplete. That would have been dumb if he caught it. The Owls will take over on downs. That was fourth down, yep. Yeah, he went, he should have left it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Let it go. Almost doing a favor for uh, Palmer. Yeah, he had a club. He had a turn on one down. Owls with the ball back. 717 left in uh, the third. So that turnover didn't cost him nothing but some time on the clock. They 
don't score on this drive, I can't see them winning. First and ten for Dundalk. The ball's on the Owls, the 31-yard line. Recovered by Dundalk. Spalding up 13 already on the same fence of Pilate. Mariners red. Timeout for an injured player. 705 remaining. He's on his feet. And James is making his way toward the sideline. Brings up a second and 16 for the Owls. The ball is marked at the 25 yard line. So the Owls schedule Kenwood at Franklin Belair. yard line. The ball is being marked at the Miller's 18 yard line. In the red zone, and you got an injured Milford Miller. I mean, yeah, Milford Miller. 57 yards on the reception by Valentine. And it will be first and 10 from the Milford 18 yard line with 6 minutes and 25 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Staten recovered the fumble. And some mold coming in. It's on the 16 yard line with 6.08 left in the third quarter. Run around the edge. Cut. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier. He's brought down after a short game. He cut again. Timeout time for an injured owl. Injury timeout. Dundalk. <laughs> With no momentum now. Again, they get Pinwood next week. Well, they'll rebound. They will. It's just a lot, like I said. Everybody has this game. Remember, Mel again will be making a trip over to Caitlin Fett. Let's give it up for the injured owl. He's on his feet. That, and that injured owl is fuller for strong safety. And I heard that. I hope he's all right. Second and six. Ball is marked at the 20-yard line. 5.51 left. 
Third quarter. In the third, Bernie. They went with the run. And nothing Met it the line of scrimmage. Nothing no done. gain on the last play. Right Sutton, the ball carrier. Oh, Say he lost a couple of yards on the last play. Get it running, get it out of here. Get the four and one. Say on the ball, my kind of play. Lost two. It's third down. Third and eight. Ball's on the 18. Low snap, Purdy. Purdy's pass is incomplete. He actually got pressure from behind while he was throwing the football. Intended for Pearson. Fourth down here, but he's coming. It's fourth down. Remember, I was able to snuff out that uh, pending uh, drive there. And, well, we'll support it too, the clock stops. Yep, for uh, Dundalk. They need a block punt. They need to turn over Cam Jefferson, number six, is in in punt formation. And Chandler. Ah, AJ Smith is back. Great punt. And the ball goes out of bounds just of inside bounds. midfield. I know you're not going to be the ball man so far, but St. Paul's 2-2, and, and Mouse Gilmore's 2 and 2 Mouse Gilmore will be there for the game, and uh, am I do call for play? Who's the team that's going to be behind you for your front? And the big call. Going to be interesting. I'm coming by the way. No, all right. So in this game right now, Dundalk got to score with this ball. No doubt. It's a holding penalty against the Owls. They marked it off at the spot of the foul. And the ball is now placed at the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Short, caught. Looking for the first down. They're gonna be close to it, maybe a yard shot. Royster in on the tackle. Valentine on the reception. Second and two. Picked up eight yards on the reception, brings up a second and two. The ball is marked at the 47-yard line. 4-13 remaining here in the play. Snap again. Run up the middle. That's the first down now. And a little more. Oxbine, the ball carrier. Malachi Barnes in on the tackle. The run by Oxidine was enough for an Owls first down. Just inside midfield to the 49-yard line with 350 left in the third quarter. It's first and ten. First and ten here for Dundalk. Roll out. Oh. Williams pass. Wide open. Got the foot and that's a foul. Is caught by challenger Valentine. Out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Wide open catch. 17 yards on the reception by Valentine. Yep. It's first and 10 from the 32 yard line with three minutes and 21 seconds left to play in the third quarter.
Jones, King, Barnes, and Blackwell in on the tackle. No gain on the last play. And time is running out. Home about four I'm shotgun dogs huddling up and the quarterback had to go get the play from the sideline. Second and ten. is incomplete intended for Valentine it's third down it's third down y'all it's third down. Williams' pass is incomplete. Brings up a fourth down. Good 
54.6 seconds left here in the quarter. And the Owls will get the ball back. That's not good play, Carlin. You, you're here 27 nothing. What are your passes? Second and ten from the Dundalk 45 with 43.4 seconds left to play in the third quarter. 43.4 seconds left here. Second down. It's second down. is complete. Should be right at the marker. Barnes on the coverage. Valentine on the reception. Just inside midfield to the Miller's 45-yard line. It's first and ten with time running out in the third quarter. Should get one last play in for the end of the quarter. 17 seconds now. 16. Down. One with a run there. Forward, progress. Should get him right. Barnes, King Jr., and Kobe Jones in on the tackle to end the third quarter with the Millers leading 27. Millers up 27 to nothing. Zero to zero. And we're back with the fourth quarter here from Memphis Mill Academy. It's more of a DMV high school football game. It's time to make your calls for you.
All right, back in the fourth quarter here. They're getting it going. Then the Owls, offense, get off the deck here. Haven't been able to in the game complete a full drive. Throws it up! Too much This is almost picked off. It looked like a car crash, but it should have been an interception. Staten in the coverage. Brings up a second down, a third down. Third and seven from the 42. To be truthful, Dundon coming here to this time of place. Yeah. I just said uh, three moments ago, I haven't been able to have a sustained whole drive. So. And it's contact. Third and seven. Run there, cut. Still on his feet, that's the first down. Ball came out. Staking in on the tackle. The run was enough for a Dundalk first down. Jenkins, the ball carrier. It is first and 10. The ball's on the Milford 32 yard line. Not at all. Dudley did not abandon the run game. But again, he's got to get that. Jenkins is met at the line of scrimmage by Kobe Jones. It's second down. The ball is marked at the 32 yard line with 10.46 left to play in the game. The six yards on the play. And the tackle of James and Jones. He's brought down at the 38 yard line. Third and 16. in the Miller's secondary. <laughs> For safety and security reasons, the Miller's athletic department would like for everyone to leave the stadium right at the end of today's game. And for those students to call their parents now to get a head start on their interim report weekend. All right, so pass and the friends helps out there. The Owls. Quarterback sneak by Williams. And he's brought down, look like near the 15 yard line. Barnes in on the tackle. And the run was enough for a Dundalk first down. 
Ball is marked at the Miller's 16 yard line. Back in the red zone again. Martinez here. Grundog here content. Second down. The quarterback led him right into the defensive end. We got to play down from Ezra Mill. Injury timeout. Hit hurt the defender more than the person that's getting the ball is hit. And that's what they did there. Remind me when John Lynch used to play for the 49ers. He used to hit so hard, him and uh, what's that other one? That safety for the 49ers. He used to hit so hard, they hurt themselves. Yeah. Player down here. 819 and left. Might be his chosen. Boxing could be. No black it is. Get some more scoring updates. Probably not the win out of Got a little stinger action. On the last play. Third down from the 11 yard line. Third down from the 11. The third or fourth. See, you might be right there. That might be third. Look like it's third. Well, I'm, I agree with you. They're just trying to score. They're not trying to win. Third and five. The ball's on the 11 yard line, and there's 7.34 left to play in the fourth quarter. Williams on a quarterback keeper. Tripped up by Malachi Barnes. Picked up two yards, it's fourth down. You're kidding me. Fourth and three. The ball's on the nine yard line. It's gotta be a quick play. And the Owls are trying a field goal. Well, yeah. Owls is doing what the Washington Commanders did Sunday. Trying to get on the goal bar. They start the set up. Ball's blocked. The field goal was blocked at the line of scrimmage, and the Millers will take over on downs. I'm going to tell you something after the game. I can't say it anyway. The Owls there, trying to get on the scoreboard, not quite in. I would have went for it. Four for three. I thought that was what he was going to do. I Run on the edge, able to get him down. A nice tackle there. Great penetration. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier, lost a couple of yards on the last play. 
It's second down. Six minutes left. Purdy's pass is complete to Newburn. Brought down at the 34 yard line. Yards on the reception, and Keon Sutton is the ball carrier, and he is down at the 48 yard line. 14 yards on the run by Sutton, and it's enough for Miller's first down. Ball is marked at the 47 yard line. 5:24 left to play in the game. I'm up for Mel here. Both teams only had two remaining. Time out. Why is Mel for Mel calling time out? They don't like it. One Mel for 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 Mel with a big one against Newtown and taking care of business last week against Overlay. We're trying to look, the winner in that one's trying to look to go to 5 0. We'll, we'll see Orange Mills later on in the year to keep their speed up against Hester. First and 10, the ball's on the 47 yard line, and we're five minutes and 19 seconds away from shaking hands. Purdy's pass is incomplete. Again, passing this situation. If it's going to be the old type passing, they're not good. They're not good. If it's a short pass, you get a little screen. Turn the side. Second and ten. Ball's on the 47. They also give them more opportunities to score. Oh, Snap there, Ryan. Ryan again. And it's room. Most of the ball carrier. First down. First down. The run by Monte was enough for Milford first down. Mellow's first down there. Worcester picked up 11 yards on the last play. The ball is marked at the 43 yard line. Well snap. Had to hesitate on the run. Worcester the ball carrier. Tripped up just short of the first down inside the 35 yard line. They should have had it back in the backfield. Not setting the edge at all there. You're uh, dumb dog. 425 left in this one. Second and three. Balls on the 35 yard line. 420 left to play. Purdy don't need to pass this ball again in this football game. Purdy's pass is complete to Darrell Pearson. First down and, and he's dragged down inside the 25 yard line. They bit for the run, and the wide open receiver was to the right. He was able to get the first half. Picked up 10 yards on the reception by Pearson. It's first and 10. They're ahead of the game, but they got a sense of urgency. And the pistol. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier. Gains a couple more. Brought down near the 22-yard line. It's a but you can tell the 
Picked up four yards on the run by Keon. It's second and six. The difference in the game. Keon Sutton, the ball carrier. Flag Lake, it's coming back. Brought down inside the 15 yard line. Penalty flag near the line of scrimmage. You know that's a hold it is normally. 315 left in this one. Holding against the Millers. The penalty will be walked off from the line of scrimmage. The ball is now being marked at the 32 yard line. It'll be first and 20 from the 32 with three minutes and 13 seconds left to play in the game. Time out again. Give the official time out, let's see. It is an official timeout because they say, hey. There's a timeout on the field with 3.08 left to play. It's a good time to start making your calls so your parents can pick you up. Going for two. Oh, he's going for two now. 
Well, I'm kind of late for it, 1 o'clock. 27 nothing there. Bernie Hall all over. Run from behind, stop. Royster is chipped up in the backfield. But the score remains 33. 33 nothing. Zero. Zero. You're welcome. Thank you. 33, hurry it! Speaking of uh, something getting out of hand, and it's seven. What do one nothing fall in the second quarter? Well, over St. Cousin Pilate. That was the defending MIA eight call for champion. Well, that game over. Flexing all in my... Number 25, Mohammed Fiam is set to kick off with a minute and 41 seconds left to play. Make your arrangements to leave the stadium right at the end of the game, which we're almost there. Woods in on the tackle. <laughs> Ball's marked right at midfield. All boy moment. Yeah, that was the turn for the game. Now to drop the three and two. Second ball, more county loss. First and ten for the Owls, right at midfield, with 94 seconds left to play. 134 left. Middle sack. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Wow. Oh, that could be a helmet to helmet. Wrapped up after a short game. You're gonna let him go to 15. That should have been a helmet to helmet. Kobe Jones. Lock in the back though. Get on the tackle. There's a penalty flag at the end of the run. Yeah, that should be a helmet to helmet. We got a Miller player down on. It's on sideline. The flag is waved off. You can't be kidding me, man. Picked up five yards. The defender took on the last play. Yeah. Still was dangerous, though. I the helmet. Second and five. Balls on the Milford 45. Look what they saw. You can even hear it up here. Oh, you can. Yeah, we definitely heard it. You know that one twelve remaining. They went up the screen. <laughs> able to get the first down the back of quarterback. Yeah, Rodney and Blackwell in on the tackle near the 35-yard line. The run was enough for an Owls first down with less than 35 seconds to play in the game. Owls are trying to get a score for now at this point. Drop back. One last play in this one. 27 up your final down at Prairie Hall. A dominant performance over Caton Zone now. Ran out of bounds. The three push out of bounds. Near the 31 yard line. One last play. Didn't say home, might as well. Who can't come out? Nobody's going to be right. 
Who can't come out? Who can't do it? <laughs> <laughs> so Michael Mello, you got make sure you have one more game at home here. And that's against Wickham. And a rivalry game. And then if the kids were free on the road, Sam was standing in the two feet in between. One last play in this one. And he is forced out of bounds to end today's game with the Millers with the 33. Can he make the duck? Is he going to make the duck? Is he going to make it? They made the duck. They're lining up to shake hands. The Millers and the Owls appreciate your support throughout the course of today's game. Have a great weekend. It was all defense. That's what that was the game away. Not about it. It was a good defensive game with your this game has been covered by the Baltimore Sun and writer Mike Franey. Well, my hat's off the middle of 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 St. Paul's going to be I'm going to be forward to that Mergo car talking. Definitely am too. Uh, I'm going to be really excited about that. Two huge for Mergo and the fourth car to match this big game for them. But we'll see you at St. Francis and then at CCBC Dundalk tomorrow. Until then, so long for now. So long. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?